and once again welcome back to my channel where today we're doing another speed drawing. This one was once again a request of one of my patrons, James Salter, also known as Captain Thundercrash. Thank you as always for being a wonderful supporter and also a, a very active part of my channel both here on YouTube and on Twitch. Everybody give a round of applause. That sounded way too golf clap. I'm really sorry, I'm tired. It's been a really long week. So this drawing that we are doing is a very interesting one. I do like doing these drawing requests on, on Twitch when I manage to get around to doing them live and feel like I can stomach doing Twitch at the moment. Uh, that's a different story. Um, everybody comes up with these amazing character ideas and they seem to fit really well for the characters or they're characters that are just so challenging to me. Now, I love Plants v Zombies. Uh, Garden Warfare 2 was my absolute favourite. One was pretty good. Uh, I would say that the only issue was there was no private matches. You had to do everything kind of live with other people and that left you open to some very, very uh, dickish behaviour. Uh, not quite as bad as Sea of Thieves. No, I will never live that one down, Captain Thundercrash. Um, but I do very much have fond memories of it. Uh, I did also manage to 100% it, uh, so that was pretty good on the Xbox 360 just before the Xbox One came out. When the Xbox One came out and this game was announced, I was hyped as hell. I am not gonna lie, I have sunk so many hours into this game. I also 100%ed it as well before the new one, uh, Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighbourville came out. Now, that one I haven't played as much, and I have a lot of gripes with it, but it's still okay. They've tried to do some story with it and kind of grown on some of the areas, but other of the areas I really don't like. For example, when you've got all of your plants and your zombies, you had set character classes. So, for example, the character that I'm drawing now is a witch cactus. She has, uh, instead of firing just sniper-like cactus needles she fires balls of magic and it's a lot more rapid fire it's a lot more usable i really enjoyed using this character class now you can get the characters in in uh, battle for neighborville however there are no distinct differences you just get a skin you get a witchy skin Ooh, magic growler that's the microphone please don't do that <laughs> I'm going to leave that in for fun because that's what these things are. <laughs> so yes, I loved this witch skin. It was one of my favourites and it was one of the few times that I'd actually level up the cactus. I don't enjoy sniping, which is really weird considering a lot of the characters that I like are snipers. Um, and I have got much, much better at it. Like, if I'm playing my Turian multiplayer character in Mass Effect Andromeda, Sniper. All the fucking way, Sniper. If I'm playing Far Cry 5, I got really, really good at sniping. If I was playing Ghost uh, Recon Breakpoint, again, really, really good at sniping. Really enjoyed that one. I'm not sure why everything happened the way it did, but here we are. So, anyway, let's break it down for those of you who haven't played PV Zom... Let's break it down for those of you who haven't played Plants v Zombies Garden Warfare 2. It's set in the future, or the past, depending, uh, or an alternate universe, we're not quite sure, where there are zombies. Uh, and it's not the creepy kind of Cordyceps zombies that you know, are actually apparently becoming a thing. Because did you hear that someone has actually finally been infected with a fungal infection that was growing in his chest? It's really weird and really creepy. Look it up. Uh, but the actual zombies, uh, Zomboid, I believe it is, is or Dr. Zomboid, is a zombie that has created other zombies and is, and is now trying to take over the human race and devour all of the brains. To do this, uh, or to counteract this, the humans have gardens. They have their own crazy scientist, though I wouldn't really call him a scientist. Dave? Um, he manages to essentially give you a load of seeds to grow a garden. 
or at least that's the premise of the original game. When they moved it over to the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One or PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, when they brought it to the next gen consoles, they essentially created a more first person kind of experience, but in the third person. So you have the plants who are defending the humans from the zombies and all of the humans just lock themselves in the buildings and stay out of the way. So you have things like on the plant side, which I really, really enjoyed, you've got the sunflower, which is like your medic healer class. On the zombie side, you've got your scientist. Uh, you've got your soldier, which is on the zombie side. You've got chompers, pea shooters, the cactus, and they each take up their own roles within each side. So you have a support character, you have a long range character, which is the cactus in this case. You have a melee character and so on and so forth. So if there is something on one side, there will be something reflective that on the other side. And it's very, very good in that regard. And yeah, the cactus is one of them. It's really weird to me though, something that I, I do comment on quite often is as a female gamer I am always going to kind of gravitate more towards female representing characters and when there are no females in a game I get kind of annoyed at it. I know that sounds really dumb and kind of shallow but it's always really really good to have representation and have that option. So to have only two classes i believe in this game when there's like six aside actually be confirmed as female and both of them being on the plant side always hit me kind of in a bad way and especially when one of those classes i was rubbish at and i really didn't like using which is the cactus the other one was the sunflower and i was lethal as a sunflower i know you're supposed to heal people and just be there to be pretty and save everybody's life which i did on a very regular basis but uh I was also regularly ahead of people on the kills table while also being top of the healing leaderboard. So there is that. Anyway, that was a long ramble about P Plants v Zombie Garden Warfare 2. And thank you once again to James for uh, getting me to draw this really fun, sassy looking witch cactus uh, on live on Twitch. As always, if you're interested in that, please do follow the links down below and thank you as always please do like comment share and subscribe and i will see you next time take care have fun and goodbye <laughs>